Are you considering becoming a Mern developer, but you're unsure where to start? Mern stands for MongoDB, ExpressJS, React, and Node.js, a full-stack JavaScript framework used to build dynamic web applications. Do you want a proven system to master the stack, practice it, and land real paid projects? In this video, I'll break it all down step-by-step. Step. By the end, you'll have a clear action plan to secure your first project and go from there. So why take my word for it? I've helped hundreds of developers boost their freelancing and agency journeys over the past decade. And and before we get into it, if you're interested in content about getting clients, starting as a developer, freelancing, and even building an agency, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the button below. I'm sure it's flashing right now. So what are some use cases for Mern and why should you care about Mern in the first place? Because there are certainly alternatives out there. Mern is used for building scalable high-performance web applications, including e-commerce platforms, social networks, SaaS products, and real-time applications like chat and collaboration tools. Compared to other stacks, Mern offers a unified Java-based workflow, making development more streamlined and efficient. With an active open source community, vast libraries and flexibility, it allows for rapid iteration and scalability. Basically, there's a, a lot of demand for Mern and bigger and medium-sized companies are always looking for developers who know this stack and you can make a lot of money with it. While Mern is great for full-stack JavaScript development, it has some drawbacks. So MongoDB isn't ideal for apps needing complex transactions and scaling a Mern project can require extra setup compared to more structured frameworks like Django or server-side solutions like Next.js. That being said, it's still one of the best stacks, if not the best stacks to learn for a huge amount of people. To get started with the basics, I suggest you begin by understanding the core principles of JavaScript, as is the foundation of Mern development. FreeCodeCamp.org, which is a nonprofit that I'm not affiliated with, by the way, has a bunch of free courses for this. Just go there and watch courses and implement, then move on to learning each component of the stack. MongoDB for databases, ExpressJS for backend logic, React for frontend development, and Node.js to run JavaScript on the server side. For Mern itself, you can go to FreeCodeCamp yet again uh, to get a free course on Mern. FreeCodeCamp recently released a comprehensive bookstore course teaching the Mern stack through practical project development. Just Google it, it's super easy to find, it's free, it's a nonprofit, they won't charge your money. Uh, and again, I'm not affiliated with them. This is not a like promotion or something. Once you take these three courses on JavaScript and Mern, uh, you can start practicing and building test projects to get comfortable with the stack and also to get a portfolio. I suggest starting with small real world applications like a task manager, a notes app, or a simple e-commerce platform. These will help reinforce core Mern concepts and prepare you for more complex projects later on. Now let's talk about getting projects and actually, you know, making money with this stuff. So Upwork and Fiverr are still the number one and number two platform for finding freelance gigs as a React developer, but the success you might have on there depends on how you approach them. There's definitely a right way and a wrong way to use the platforms. Some say these platforms only attract low budget clients and you're racing to the bottom, but that's not really true if you use the platform strategically. These are funnels, they're lead generation platforms, uh, they are places to find projects, they're not magical unicorn places where you get magical jobs just sitting there and waiting for clients to show up. If you just set up a profile and wait for clients to find you, you won't get very far. Instead on Upwork, for example, you need to send out 15 solid proposals daily, seven days a week, and stay consistent. I have a detailed set of videos on how to approach these platforms the right way, linked in the description. Once you gain experience, raise your rates, don't undercharge just because others do so. Just because you see a bunch of cheap freelancers doesn't mean you have to be a cheap freelancer. So what I have for you now is I have a, a whole playlist for you on how to approach these platforms. Go into the description of this video and click on the videos in the playlist and you will see a whole list of videos that you can watch if you want help with getting started as a freelancer and getting your first projects. See you in the next video.